Deflection! Deflection! Sidestepping audience questions at the University of Memphis, that is Kyle Rittenhouse. Deflection! Deflection! Now amidst the heckling, he is fleeing. Please exit, the event is over, after only a few minutes. Uh, yeah! For Kyle Rittenhouse, storming off stage after being confronted by students is not exactly a profound courage. Rittenhouse, who beat homicide charges after killing two people in the summer of 2020, is in the midst of a university speaking tour sponsored by the conservative group Turning Points USA. Leader Charlie Kirk is a Rittenhouse admirer, but Kirk has a history of racist remarks. As audience members here noted. He says we shouldn't celebrate Juneteenth. We shouldn't celebrate Martin Luther King Day. We should be working those days. It's called Katani Brown Jackson and Affirmative Action Hire. He's talked nonsense about George Floyd. And he said he'd be scared if a black pilot was on a plane. Does that not seem racist? I don't know anything about that. Oh, then answer no, no, no. Does that seem racist? Is a yes or no question, Kyle? Deflection! 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 Yeah! Yeah! The audience did not miss anything. Rittenhouse often peppers his speeches yeah! with apparent lies, and his acting seemed clear a few years ago at his murder trial when he asked for sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he was acquitted in the murder case, Rittenhouse has become something of a conservative hero. And so you're gonna you're gonna be are you gonna join the Corps of Cadets? I haven't decided yet. I may. But in that very interview last year with Charlie Kirk, Rittenhouse delivered a whopper. He's ready to make it. To, wow, everybody, it's a big deal, right here in the Charlie Kirk show. Kyle Rittenhouse is announcing that he's an Aggie. So I'm going to be going there. It's going to be awesome. Actually, what's awesome is this. Kyle Rittenhouse says he's going to Texas A&M. No, he isn't, University says. Texas A&M spokeswoman Kelly Brown told the Dallas Morning News he has not been admitted as a student this summer or fall. So I'm going to be going there. Be Rittenhouse awesome. insisted he visited the campus, campus in May. Beautiful campus, amazing people, amazing food. Um, we went to Dixie's Chicken there. <laughs> Best burgers I've ever That's had. why he's going. Rittenhouse is apparently free to lie to conservatives about his academic status, and perhaps Turning Point USA is paying for all his burgers and chicken on his college speaking tour. But at the University of Memphis, Rittenhouse got a large serving of humble pie. Because when you run away from hecklers and students who ask adversarial questions, it shows that you are a coward. And that is not the image Kyle Rittenhouse has been trying to promote. These days, as Ross Story reports, vigilante killer Kyle Rittenhouse designs and sells always ready body armor. Here is part of his YouTube sales pitch. Today we are going to be talking about the Kyle Rittenhouse always ready bundle available at armoredrepublic.com. It's a very practical kit, including everything that you need all the way from hydration to first aid to general purpose to magazine holders and to a very comfortable plate carrier. The lack of self-awareness by Rittenhouse is stunning, and so is his lack of shame. But it's even worse than most younger people know. You see, in mid-April, Turning Point USA says Rittenhouse will try to give a speech at Kent State University. It's the same university where four students were killed and nine others injured on May 4th, 1970, when members of the Ohio National Guard opened fire on a crowd gathered to protest the Vietnam War. The tragedy was a watershed moment for America's divisions over conflict in Southeast Asia. In the immediate aftermath of the Kent State shootings, students across the United States went on strike, forcing the closure of colleges and universities across the country. To this day, if you mention Kent State University to anybody of a certain age, you will likely get a look of sadness and memories of grief and pain. But now, Kyle Rittenhouse, who seems proud that he shot and killed two people at a Black Lives Matter protest a few years ago, plans to try and speak at Kent State University, hallowed ground. Well, try is the operative word because I have a feeling that the boos and jeers Rittenhouse got in Memphis are nothing compared to what's coming in Northeast Ohio. Yes, Rittenhouse has a First Amendment right to speak in public, even at Kent State, 
But the First Amendment also applies to Rittenhouse's critics. And there will be many on the college speaking tour who will underscore that Rittenhouse and Charlie Kirk are despicable and deserve nothing but contempt. By the way, speaking of contempt, Charlie Kirk's political hero Donald Trump is apparently open to getting half a billion dollars in bond money from Russia. Um, is there any effort on the part of your team to secure this money through another country, Saudi Arabia or Russia, as Joy Behar seems to think? Well, there's rules and regulations that are public. I can't speak about strategy that require certain things, and we have to follow those rules. Like I said, this is manifest injustice. And that was not a no. So many ways in which uh, the whole stench of uh, money from dubious places infuses his uh, business enterprise. And so this would add more, uh, more questions uh, should that uh, be the case going forward. Check out the video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Scruffy Nubbles who wrote, Trump should go live in Russia. Amen. I look forward to reading your comments about Kyle Rittenhouse storming off a stage after getting heckled. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.